So for making tutorial of Thor from Infinity War, first you have to make grids or I personally recommend use a grid method. If you want to know how I have used grid method in this tutorial, just comment down below. I will give you extensions and how I am using grid methods for every sketches that I have made. First of all, just make small hairs which will be a curvy in the end. Start from upside and in the end, just curve it little bit upside. Use 2B pencils for base layers and you can use a makeup brush which will be a bigger one for just blushing them out or you can say that blending those small hairs. Now using 3B or 4B pencil, just lighten or I can say that darken the end points of pencils and just sharpening main parts of pencils you can give a good look as compared to 5b or 6b pencils so now as you can see that after darkening every part i have used a mechanical pencils for darkening the small hairs which are leftovers now using a rubber which is i am using every or you can say that every day or every other sketches just making small highlights and now making small hairs on those remaining parts of his face. Now using a red color pencils, I have just made a small texture type thing because in the end picture there is in the infinity war there is a red thing in which he, he has used a Ragnarok and in the part of Ragnarok he is having a red light in his face and his neck too. So for making those type of main things in, on his face, I have used a red color pencils or color pencil for making that part. Now making a main thing which is absolutely a easiest and the main purpose for making those red part except in I have used a main things in other sketches which is a black and white and main purpose of using a color in this portrait is that I have made a portrait which is a combination of my name and a portrait and a portrait which is main portrait which is having a noodles so double O for portraits and addition it is portrait so I have uploaded its timeline or main time lapse video before too so if you are interested in just watching those time lapse videos I will give you a main or you can say that a main link on my comment box so now for making his main forehead I have just used a base layer which is 2B pencil and just blended it and making a small hairs on his face and every other parts using a 3B pencils I have given details so I have used a direct method on his hairs which are small hairs because if you go directly for small hairs it is a useful for making those a base layer or you can also go for base layer first layer and the third layer on his hairs but i have used direct method for his face now using a blending stumps i'm only blending those parts which are more highlighted or a dark as compared to any other part as the main light source is on right hand side so of course the dark side will be on left side so now using a hard makeup brush i am just blending those small hairs which are remaining now for making his eyes use a mechanical pencils the main purpose of using a mechanical pencil is that it is 0.5 mm or you can give more details as compared to any other pencils you can also sharpen your pencils up to 2.5 mm or more than less than that too but i will not recommend you if you are a beginner or intermediate artist to sharpen with a blade or any other things just use a pencil and just start drawing right now don't harsh or don't use a fast method that you will see in youtube and any other things just do a drawings every day if you want to make a portraits start using a grid method if you are not very easy or aware from making direct method which is directly going for eyes directly going for nose and face structure because if you will use a grid method you will get a perfect face and perfect eyes but if you will go for direct method as everyone will recommend you most of the time 
there will be a 99% chance that sometimes if you are a beginner or intermediate one eye will be small and second eye will be a little bit larger as compared to any other eye or any other portions so i will recommend you to the grid method for making a perfect portraits now as you can see that the darkest part of his nose is on his left hand side so of course the light hand source or light source is on right hand side so i have not made a darkened part on his eyes because the main purpose is that it was not a high resolution picture that i took and no more details i was having or i was not getting any more light and sides on his left eye so i have just darken smaller parts and i will go for a direct method for making left hand side of his eye now for his right hand eye i have used mechanical pencil for darkening the main portions which i was using you can make a base layer first as you can see i have made in nose and you can use a base layer first layer and third layer as you can see i am doing you can also do a direct base layer for his whole face then going for a first layer then going for third layer but i am using a part tip method or you can say that or on first part i have used this base layer on his nose then second part i will make a base layer for his eyes forehead and then in shortened part i will say that i have used a small a distinguished part which will be of smaller eyes nose his lips his nose and every other parts now using a color pencil which i have used before i am just darkening darkening smaller portions which are more red as compared to any other parts now for making those parts more lighter as compared to any other parts or to make it distinguish between any other parts in this part you will have to use a applied pressure which will be more as compared to any other part of his face now using a blending stump you will or i have made a smaller parts which are more darker as compared to any other parts for making or darkening those parts just use a pencil that you have used before or you are used to for making those beard just make smaller lines don't go for a darker portions or darker 6b or 8b pencils use smaller line pencils for his eyes and more lines which are his hair and other parts for making upper part of his fair his nose there is a, we have the main part which is upside part of his face we will i will recommend you to use a 2b to 3b pencil for making this part don't go up to 6b or 8b pencil because it is not required for this part of his face see you in part 2 so that was all for this part 1 if you have learned something from this video drop a like and share it with your friends and family comment down below your question and queries regarding this tutorial meanwhile take care take care of your loved ones too have an artistic day that is subscribe now by clicking here or the lid of your pencil will break every time you draw and click here if you want to learn more about portrait drawings